नमस्कार आदाब शस्त्र और खुशा मदीद वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग चलो फिर पीपल दिस इज मास्टर डी जो हर्ष पी एम हु इज गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली स्टडी इन रशिया एंड दैट टू कम्प्लीटली फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट येस यू आर हेयरिंग इट राइट एंड दिस इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल एंड इन फैक्ट इट्स नॉट ओनली फॉर द टॉप मोस्ट स्टूडेंट्स द मोस्ट ब्रिलियंट वंस इन फैक्ट दिस इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स एंड वाई एम आई सींग दिस वाई एम आई सो कॉन्फिडेंट लेट मी टेल यू दिस एंटायर डिटेल इन दिस सेशन सो लेट्स गेट इन टू द सेशन विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी एनी फर्दर टाइम If you have yet not subscribed to the channel I would request all of you to kindly subscribe to the channel because on this channel you will get a lot of useful content meaningful content and that and the content which can really help you in getting what you are looking for okay so on this channel this is this is my promise that I'll give you that content which is very much required by you fine now moving forward I have already done one of the session uh, that you can study MBBS in italy and that too absolutely free of cost because these are some of those countries where government is uh, very much uh, motivating students from across the globe to come to their country and study medicine there because italy russia these are those countries where there is a shortage of uh, medical professionals there is a good uh, population good amount of population there and uh, this medical tourism you can say it's not medical tourism rather you can say a uh, uh, a good chunk of economy thrives on this medical education being taken by international students and hence government is really uh, spending good amount and uh, trying to prioritize it trying to put focus on it and hence these are good options for you so you can even watch out this video if you have if you haven't watched this video and now let me tell you about the options for russia because for indians russia becomes a better prospect because russia is very near to india at least still a little far fine now let's get into the detail so you can study in russia russia is a beautiful country in fact the largest country area wise in the uh, in, in the like in this asian vicinity now here the mbbs is of 6 years as like in india 5 years of study and 1 years of internship the course is delivered in english that's a good part so you don't need to actually forcibly learn russian although eventually you need you'll need to learn russian because in russia you need to communicate with people and that for that you need russian but your course curriculum will be in english thereafter the good part or you can say the best part that public universities those universities which are government funded they do charge somewhere between 1 lakh to 5 lakh rupees per year so your entire mbbs degree would be in just 25 lakh rupees now let me tell you that why this is so so less because in india private so let me tell you the first the, the fees of private uh, university so private universities in uh, in russia do charge somewhere between 6 8 6 lakh rupees to 8 lakh rupees per year but in india any private university or any private college who is teaching you mbbs charges minimum somewhere around 15 to 25 lakh rupees per year yes this is the cost in india and hence in india it's very very expensive to study in uh, private colleges and for government colleges you need to pass the neat examination which is again very tough because every year around 20 to 25 lakh students appear for that examination and only roughly 1 lakh student do get a uh, medical or private seat in fact the medical seats are 55000 only so the good part second good part here is that getting into public universities in russia is not that tough in fact they don't have any examination of that sort they will be just uh, assessing your profile and if your profile is strong enough you have good marks in 12th you have done something good in neat they will be accepting your application so that's a good part now moving forward what is the fees for top universities in russia so top universities like crimea state medical university this is a government college there the fees is 3 lakh rupees per year similarly kazan federal university this is again a state government like a government college here the fees is 4 lakh 67000 and like this all these colleges these are the top 10 colleges of russia okay so these fees like the fee structure which they have is not that high you can very easily afford it now moving forward what is the cost of living in russia so cost of living again this is a third good part you can say uh, probably again a very best part that cost of living in russia is very very cheap just like india believe me just like india now why am i saying this university dormitory like where you have shared beds accommodation in the university that costs you somewhere around 519 rupees to 5192 rupees can you just imagine that like 500 to 5000 rupees even if i take the highest one 5000 rupees is also not that too high 
फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ इज लाइक वेरी काइंड ऑफ अफोर्डेबल मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल इन इंडिया ऑल्सो कैन अफोर्ड दिस नेक्स्ट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन लाइक योर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन टू कॉलेज टू यूनिवर्सिटी और टू अदर प्लेसेज इज रफली टू थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ अगेन वेरी अफोर्डेबल फूड फूड इज अ लिटिल कॉस्टली बट दैट्स नॉट ऑल्सो वेरी कॉस्टली टेन थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इन बिटवीन दैट सो इफ आई एज्यूम लाइक रफली अ फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड मिडिल फिगर सो फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड हेयर टू थाउजेंड हेयर एंड फाइव थाउजेंड लाइक फाइव थाउजेंड यू कैन से रफली लेट्स टेक थ्री थाउजेंड बीच का लाइक समथिंग इन बिटवीन सो थ्री थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन एंड फाइव ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सो रफली इफ आई एड ऑल ऑफ देम एन एवरेज फिगर यू यू वुड बी नीडिंग समवेयर अराउंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ टू स्टे देयर which is not that high so 20000 is kind of very affordable 20000 per month for staying in russia <coughs> and the college fees is somewhere around uh, 1 lakh to 5 lakh rupees per annum now if you calculate this 20000 to a uh, uh, year annual figure this will be 20 into 12 that will be 2.4 lakh rupees per year so 2.4 lakh rupees assuming something of uh, like you know 4.1 or 3.1 lakh rupees for uh, college fees that would make your somewhere around 5 to 6 lakh rupees a year 6 lakh rupees a year means your parent needs to your parents so if i add this amount to an average of 4.1 lakh rupees so that that makes 4.1 lakh rupees of college fees that makes a 6.5 lakh rupees an year per year so if you have to spend uh, spend 6.5 lakh rupees per year this means that your parents would be require would be required to spend somewhere around 55000 rupees per month <clears throat> so in india no one can actually study in 55000 rupees per month in any of the private medical college no one absolutely saying it matlab correct 100% correct so 55000 rupees per month is very very affordable and that's why russia is a very top destination for most of the students especially from india for uh, mbbs courses okay now there you have an opportunity or option of even working as part time so working as part time the average uh, payout is around 24000 rupees per month so in this much amount you would be very easily be able to uh, get your staying like get your accommodation food and uh, transportation managed by your own so you don't need to spend any amount or you don't need to take any amount from your parents to manage your own expenses your staying expenses in russia 24000 because we had seen here that roughly 20000 to roughly 20000 per month is required for staying in india and, and uh, staying in russia and having food there so this is a good part now how will you uh, get into this so eligibility for our in for indian students so here the indian student must be at least 6 17 years old and should have scored 50% or more in physics chemistry and biology pcb more than 50% which most of the student does have uh, thereafter to study mbbs in russia student must qualify neat so this is an important parameter that you have to qualify neat they are not asking you to actually get a very good marks in neat because with, which is otherwise required for indian colleges you have to just be qualified for neat so you have to take the neat examination you should be qualified in that after that and this entire information has been fetched from embassy of india in moscow like official website thereafter they do have scholarship program as well every year government of russia so this is a government scholarship offers many scholarship for international students for that academic year 2024 25 15000 can you just read it out 15000 scholarships are available for foreign applicants to pursue in the year 2024 25 so only in one year they will be giving 15000 scholarships and what would be the scholarship so first of all that specially for indians 200 scholarships are fixed in fact indians can have can have more scholarship but this is the minimum amount that indians will get 200 scholarship is fixed but although if if uh, indians or more indian students are coming in russia and they have better uh, efficiency better uh, capability they will be having more scholarship so this much is minimum now moving forward what would be required so for a scholarship in in russia the government of russian federation offering 200 fully funded scholarship to indian students for the academic year 25 26 these scholarship are available for bachelor's degree master's degree phd degree in medicine pharmacy engineering even engineering is also included funded by russian government students will be entitled for free tuition for free tuition a monthly allowance of around 1350 to 1500 rupees which is not that high but theek hai that is also fine at least your food will be covered and free stay so your stay is free uh, covered your food is covered your tuition fees is covered so if you get 
into this scholarship this means you will be absolute like you will be study absolutely free in russia you do you would not have to pay anything fine so getting into the scholarship is the best part if you can obviously the the top most people would be able to get into here but you should try now my next is a number of programs in particular in the uh, in particular in the field of medicine are taught in english so that's a good part if students don't speak russian they can simply select an additional optional option in their application about need to learn russian you just need to tick that option that you need to learn russian and thereafter your process your visa applications and your uh, study application will get uh, approved because you don't need to showcase russian language proficiency there in this case they will study russian for one year after that they will be able to move on to studying their chosen courses so chosen courses although are taught in english but still for staying in russia and being able to talk to common people in russia you should learn russian and hence they are not forcing you but they are saying you that you should learn because it would be easy for you and hence they would be giving you one year time and that course would also be provided you uh, provided to you on the uh, on in the university campus and there you need to learn russian fine now moving ahead average salary of mbbs doctor in russia so average salary i'm not talking about a very good salary because that good salary does not have any limit it depends on your capability but average salary per month is around 2.5 lakh rupees per month roughly 30 lakh rupees per annum which you would be able to earn in russia and pretty higher probably in india as well now moving forward for practicing in russia for practicing in russia you need to pass an examination so once you have cleared with your mbbs examination thereafter you need to appear for one more examination which is called as gozz gauze examination which is conducted by russian medical authorities this exam can take can be taken in either english or russian so no need to for any language preference here as well you can appear for in this examination in english but you need to pass this examination to practice in russia to practice mbbs in russia fine now recognition of russian medical university so is russian medical university is basically approved or uh, uh, are they recognized by the international uh, authorities or international other countries so who says that world directory of medical schools by ho uh, by who uh, many top russian med uh, medical universities are approved like in usa uk these countries do approve most of the russian colleges and hence your degree will, will be valid in these in these countries as well first part this about the world second that even in india in india national medical commission is the governing authority national medical Co uh, commission has approved a lot of russian colleges and they do not have any problem with russian colleges so russian mbbs degrees are recognized by india's national medical commission nmc provided the university is listed by who and meets the nmc's foreign medical graduates criteria duration internship clinical training means they are teaching those things which are internationally acceptable so they are teaching in five years of course which is internationally acceptable minimum 4.5 years is required they are giving one year of internship which is again required by international norms so they are giving that so all those and then one more thing that the course curriculum should, should be in english they are giving that so every norms they are fulfilling hence that course is or that mbbs degree is valid in india as well cool i hope you understood that fine so ladies and gentlemen if you still have few more doubts i have tried covering most of them but you, you might be having a little more doubts so if you still have doubts i have a counseling team with me and that counseling team would be very happy helping you out okay so what you can do you can simply go to the description box there is a inquiry form given there you can just simply click on that inquiry form you can fill in your details and whatever doubt you are having and whatever uh, help you might be needing you can simply write it there then uh, our partner our uh, education partner they will give you a call and once you get a call on call you can ask all your doubts clear all your doubts and thereafter you can move ahead with your application if you would be needing any help with your application process also that also they would be able to help you okay so you can just simply fill in that uh, inquiry form given in the description box and then you will get a call but mind it you will get a call within 24 to 48 hours it might take this much time because there are high uh, inquiry volumes with us and hence this takes a little longer than expected okay fine so i hope you have understood it well and i hope i would have been able to help you in a better fashion if that is the case i would love to hear from you uh, if you can drop down a comment in the comment box i would be uh, I, 
I would be very happy. And if you need uh, any video on any other topic, any other country, any other course, just simply write it down in the comment box and I shall make a video on that. Fine. So with this, it's time to say goodbye. See you all in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.